It's been a few days, but uh, who's counting? What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another uh, video here from the studio. I know it's been a long, long time since I made one of these. I haven't forgotten how to do it. Uh, I haven't stopped tying flies. I've just been really, really busy with a lot of things. Um, I have my own watch brand now, uh, for example. Um, uh, I'll link that down below in case you're interested in watches. Um, but um, let me just uh, start off with the fly here, it's, which is a craft for bait fish. Um, and I will uh, talk to you guys a little bit about all the new stuff happening uh, along the tying. So let's jump down to the vise here, as you know, and uh, crank out this craft for bait fish. So the hook in the vise here is from Eric's Hooks, the NS122 which is uh, probably my favorite hook in the whole world. Um, a light stinger, great for many, many things. I actually used to tie this fly on uh, the NS172, the Gamros, um, but I kind of want the point and the gap of the hook to be in the middle of uh, the fly and not so much in front. Um, because uh, sometimes the fish do attack it from the side or a little bit more from the back and by placing the the, the, the hook point um, on the middle of the fly you uh, increase your chances by uh, I don't know how many percent but you definitely increase your chances uh, to to hook the fish so let's get a tail in on this one I want the tail to be, where's my scissors? The tail, I want to be chartreuse. A nice fluorescent color. So if you believe in these, in the, in these uh, myths, I don't know if it's myths, uh, because I believe in it um, that highly visible flies will attract more fish. Um, I believe that. So I'm gonna just plug out some of the shorter fibers here. You can see them here uh, because I want a nice long tail like this. And you guys know the trick. Flip it around like this because I want to tie this in in reverse. Here. Do that again. Get a loose turn or two in and then pull up on the thread like this and that will ensure that the material will stay on top of the hook shank like this you see here. Neat. Let me just tighten this up like so. And as you can see here, I'm not tying much further back than the hook tip. So flip this over. Tie that down. So now this is really, really nice and secured on there. This won't get pulled out. And then grab the white craft fur here. See if I can. <laughs> Look at this piece here. My kids got a hold of this a while back. Uh, they wanted to tie some flies and uh, I mean this is how kids trim off craft fur if they're not under supervision 
luckily it's not that expensive. It wasn't one of the very rare spay capes. Same thing here, pluck out the short fibers you don't need. Measure this out, you want it a little bit shorter than the tail. So let it be around here, same thing, flip this in your hands like this. And tie it in in reverse. I obviously need to get my thread up to the hook eye here. And this you want on the bottom half of the hook shank. So same thing. A few loose turns before you tighten it down. That will help you get it just on that one side of the shank. Trim that off. Then we need some olive craft fur for the top of the fly. Just here. And again, pluck out the shorter ones you don't need. And sometimes there are some really, really long ones in here. You just pull those out as well if you don't want those in. Turn it around. This you want same length as that white craft fur. One or two loose turns. And pull it straight up like this. Tighten it down, maybe you can pull a little bit on it just to distribute it a little bit better. You can also, some people hate that when, when fly tires do this, moisten their fingers. <laughs> I mean, what else do we want to do? Do we want to have a glass of water on your table, or I mean, I'm just—I would just be afraid of knocking it over. So I would just stick to the old-fashioned way of just moistening my fingers like that. Now we need a little bit of ice stop. Shell pink. Just dump that straight onto your tying thread here, and then just cover up this entire part here in the middle. So this will add a little bit of flash to the fly, and also when it gets wet, uh, it will. Uh, really shine through that white craft fur, which is why I didn't tie in any flash in the tail here because it will get its uh, flashy part by doing this. more in here like so and then I want to have a look um, you can kind of see you can see it when you pull back your materials if you you've tied it in close enough to the eye let me show it here so you can see it here and all the way up to where the eye of the hook begins, which is perfect. 
So let me just grab my reverse tool. Where is it? Way, 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 way back here. Collecting dust. So let's open this up. Push the fibers back like this. Work a little bit with it. materials just way up in front here like that don't worry about um, getting some turns in on top of it uh, because this will be covered up by UV resin but here you can see what I mean uh, the tail is back here and the hook is roughly around uh, the middle of the front body uh, which is where uh, the fish mainly attacks uh, but imagine the hook being a little bit further in front here um, it will decrease the chances of uh, getting some hookups just a little bit I mean if a hungry trout is super hungry it will uh, just inhale it anyway so um, but I like I like it being a little bit further back here let me just get a whip finish in here. Just one, that will be enough. Come with the thread. some of that dubbing just a little bit and the eye stop is nice and long so you will get that flash distributed or incorporated in the entire fly not just out in front here UV resin. Get a drop on my finger like so. If you don't want to do this, you could just use your dubbing needle. Uh, this just gives me a little bit more control, and I haven't had any issues with doing it this way. But I totally understand if you don't want to put it on directly on your fingers. So you just do whatever you see fit or whatever way you think is the best for you. No need to discuss that further, right? So just Work with the fly a little bit here to get the shape that you want, which is the beauty of UV resin. You can really manipulate it. And I want a nice teardrop shape, like so. And I want to put on some eyes. In this case, uh, some five millimeter flat eyes. Uh, I like to keep them here on my hand. You guys already know this, but this, if there's anybody new out there, I like to keep my not not my eyes, but the eyes I want to glue on the on the on the fly. I like to keep those on my hand actually, so I know where they are. Um, let's get a drop of UV resin on here. They might even be a little bit too small, but it'll work for this video. Put 
technique is the same so and this fly will fish anyway so let me just finish it up here on this side Down a little bit dubbing needle here. And just cure it. That's looking good. So before I make the head here, let me just say, um, should you be interested in tying this exact fly, um, I've added a material kit uh, to my own little uh, self fly store, which I will link down below as well. Um, I figured why not try to uh, make um, some finish kits. I'm, I know I've done it before with the guys over at Nordic Anglers and there are still some kits to be found there, but um, why not uh, try to uh, make my own little business on the side uh, along with all the other projects because uh, I don't have enough to do. <laughs> uh, but you know, um, that way, I mean, I handpicked these materials so you know what you get. Um, I will link it down below, so if you're interested in this exact pattern, um, make sure you go check that out. There are some other things uh, in that little store as well, like um, a fly tying mat I made a little while back. You guys might remember that. Or if you haven't seen it, now you can also see it there. Maybe I can find one here. I have one which I wanted to send out to my friend from uh, Sweden. Um, they look like this. So it's a fly tying mat you can put under your vise. Get some centimeters, uh, a measure tape here and a little cool fish design. Uh, this one, because it is a custom one for my friend, it has a different logo up here, but you can have your own name on it. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Pretty cool. It's washable, it's uh, durable, it's not uh, real leather, it's uh, PU leather so it's very durable and you can I mean you can heat it up to 80 degrees Celsius without anything happening so do go check that out if you are interested and I will just keep working on the fly here So drag the UV resin quite far back on this particular pattern, which will help it to not uh, tangle as much when you throw it, which is nice, it's always nice. this remember to keep that fly moving a little bit clear that up you can also see it here it's fluorescent that shell pink eye stop really cool when the fly gets wet as well so just need another thin layer here to cover up the head almost a candy style here at this point I have candy
if that's even a thing. I don't know. Let's just call it that. that fly in the vise. Which will make a nice even round shape. Make sure it's cured all the way through. Good. It's good. Both good. And the head is actually hollow. So um, if you're wondering about if this is super heavy, it's not because it's heavy. You can see here. I can stick my dubbing needle, dubbing needle, dubbing needle, needle all the way in. Um, so it's not that heavy. I need to charge my lamp. It's a little bit sticky. And the resin I use is from Solaris and that doesn't get tacky at all. So if it does get tacky, it's mostly because of your lamp. It needs to get a charge. And that is the finished fly here. Simple and very, very deadly. Um, there are so many new things that has happened and has, is, is going on and I can't cover them all in this video. It will just be way too long. Um, I mean, I went to Miami in April to uh, photograph some things uh, over there, some luxury uh, watches for a shop over there, and they actually made a video of it uh, when I went over there. I mean, I, I got to uh, uh, drive around for, um, Miami in a Ferrari and an old Chevy, and it was just um, the most insane thing that could happen to a country boy like me. Uh, I will link it down below, and you can look, uh, you can have a look at that. Um, check out the, the material kit for uh, this ex exact fly, some of the other stuff, maybe the, the, the fly tying mat. Um, I'm actually wearing my own, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blazer, I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a one piece, I mean, pull it over your head. It's rainproof, windproof, um, pretty cool. Have a look at it um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Um, I will try to make uh, like, I don't know, let's say, let's call it 10 flies within the next five weeks. There I said it, uh, it's a promise I'll get right on it after this video ends. So if you like this one, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys soon. Take care.